Not only am I going to explain the difference between a Polaris Ranger 1000 versus a 1000 XP, I'm actually in a very unique position because I'm not a Polaris dealer. We are a dealer. We deal in a high volume of used power sports, but I'm going to give you the exact pricing, the out the door pricing. Did he really say that? on both of these models here and everything in between because you know we see it all the time we sell brand new toro mowers so on the lawn and garden side we sell brand new trailers we have not landed that power sports brand yet but it's so unique in that power sports world that you'll get a price and by the time you get out the door it's a completely different number that you didn't expect so we'll definitely break down a lot of those numbers in this video along with just telling the difference between what you can get if you're shopping for a polaris ranger and i'll tell you what i really tried to provide the value for you guys i spent between an hour and two hours on the phone with these different dealers collecting the real numbers that you might actually pay not the fake numbers they post online so whether you're getting a baseline polaris ranger all the way up to a north star we got some real figures for you guys to look at the end of this video before we get into the nitty-gritty and the price let's explain the differences that you can get so what we're looking at right here is again we, we talked about how we do used equipment so this is a 2021 so of course that could differ if you're shopping you know for a 23 and, and so forth so on this model this is the absolute base that you can get if you're shopping at a polaris ranger this is a ranger 1000 you can get a ranger 1000 premium as well and this is not that the difference in this one being as base as it can possibly be is this is a single overhead cam engine so you're looking at more like 62 horsepower on this one versus if you get the dual and you go to the xp you can get closer to in the 80s on horsepower now this is the base of the base this is not the premium if you want to know if you're getting the power steering you will see a sticker right here that says eps and so you kind of look for that this has no power steering it's a single cam this is your you, you want the power but you're shopping more along the budget so you're not going to see the frills of the high-end seats in this you're not going to see the upgraded rims and tires you're not going to see just some of the etching here with how that looks with the stickers so this is as basic a ranger as you can get but to me the biggest things you're going to look at just face value is this is not got power steering and this is a single cam but you're still rocking a 1000 you can get into that quite a bit less on price than if you go up to the xp some noticeable differences on this if you're looking again at just really quick how, how do i know what i'm looking at this does not have the front bumper it's because it's the most base model that they have this also does not have the ground clearance that you're going to see if you're going up to you know the xp that we talked about as well some quick tips if you are searching for one of these maybe you're searching for a used one well there's some really quick face value things i talked about looking at the front bumper I talked about looking at the rims and tires just to see are you, are you looking at an XP now of course the guy that we got this one from this is a 2020 right here he took all of the stickers off so how would you know that it's the XP except for taking the guy's word for it on this one a really quick way that I can tell if I'm looking in the used market is just this little subtle edge right here if you look at this it's got some different tiers to the profile if you look back at the regular 1000 it just comes together at one point so that's just the difference in some of the styling that goes on there. If you come back to the rear end on this one, it's set up similar. You're gonna see paint up here in this area versus you're not gonna see that um, if you're looking at just the baseline. So on this one, it's the XP. This happens to have the hard cab doors. This one's gonna be more comparable to a North Star if you're shopping at the North Stars. The North Stars are gonna have everything you're seeing here except they're also gonna have AC and you're gonna see power windows. You can upgrade a regular 1000 XP. You can get this manual window operation here and this one of course you can upgrade with heat and all that and this one does have the heat but you're going to see when i talked about those finishes when you come up to the xp level if you look at the seats versus what was on that regular 1000 this is just a nice plush really nice looking seat on there but if you look at the rest of the dash it's pretty similar the dash itself has a double cluster it's a nicer looking dash the dash that's in the regular 1000s looks like the same thing they put in their baseline 570s so you just got a lot of these features the fit and finish once you get to the xp is is quite a bit different but for me if you're looking at the the, the brass tacks on that it's the fact that this is a dual cam engine. This has got a lot more horsepower. That's really your biggest difference. And most of the 1000s, if you're shopping, they make 1000 premium that has the power steering. Uh, 
Of course, that's an upgrade here when you get to the XP as well. You got the power steering and you've got the power, you got the nice fit and finish as you walk around. You know, on this one, we're gonna get into the pricing. So first of all, what if you're in the, the used market here? We've got someone, I had to get this video in here today because we've got someone on the way, we're selling this for $23,000 plus tax. So if someone's willing to pay that much money for a used one of these, how much could it possibly be to buy one brand new? Well, what I did is I actually called a number of dealers from our area and I got some quotes on this and on the 1000 and kind of everything in between because I'll tell you what, you look online, you see the price between destination charges and I just wanted to charge you more money because I feel like it, those prices can elevate way beyond what you really want them to end up getting to. I've got a little pad here. I've called some other dealerships in the area and I've gotten some quotes on these machines and others and kind of what you're actually gonna be looking to pay. So first of all, if we're starting out with something like this. This is a hard unit to find right here, actually. Without the power steering, it's probably, if you're in the market for this and you're spending this kind of money, you probably want the power steering. So it's actually fairly rare to even get one here without power steering. There's a thousand dollar difference if you're looking at something without power steering versus with power steering. They, they make a 1000 and then they make a 1000 EPS. They make a 1000 premium. Now, calling around at the dealerships, the only thing that I could uh, see is the 1,000 premiums. That's all they had on their lot. So uh, there may be a thousand to $2,000 difference if you go down to something like this, if you can even get your hands on one, if you're trying to get that cost savings, if you want just the bare bones basic you know, on this. So first dealership we called, they gave me a quote on a 1000 premium, which has the power steering as well. So again, there might be 1000 EPS and then a 1000 premium. So I think that the price difference might be a thousand or 2000 difference on this one. I was able to get an out the door number of $20,789 on a unit like this. So I would imagine if I go and I were to get this exactly quoted, I'd get closer to a number of 18,000 from this dealer, potentially up to 19,000 or a hair above to get this one specked out. And that would be bone stock. It wouldn't have a windshield, it wouldn't have the rear glass, wouldn't have a winch, any of that kind of stuff. I really want to break that down for you guys because we cannot let these numbers go unnoticed. If we're really breaking down the numbers here, this is what they had it listed for, $17,499. One would assume, right, to hear that price and think of tax. Here in Michigan, we got 6% sales tax and $1,049.94 and out the door, $18,000. 548 and 94 cents. That to me is reasonable. Why else would you give me that price of 17,499? Well, I don't know because not the case. That's not the out the door price. Instead, mystery fees, $2,200 of mystery fees. And trust me, I, I get it. We have been at our personal location for a year and a half. I'm working hard as heck to land one of these big power sports brands. And for whatever reason, it's just, it's the standard in the power sports world to have these destination charges, the dock fees, all that. Now there's title work and all these other things involved in other time. You have to assemble the prep, all that kind of stuff. But to me, why tell me a price of $17,499? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Give me an out the door number. That's all that really matters. Some people aren't gonna charge the destination fees. Some people aren't gonna charge the prep fees. Some people are gonna do it all. Tell me the out the door number because I wanna be a transparent kind of guy and I, we will land a power sports brand. When we do, to me, I, sure, we can put the list price out there, but right under that, I wanna be putting stuff out there. Um, that's the out the door number. Now. Maybe you guys watch this five years later and I do it different, but to me, that's all that makes sense. Of course, I'm not selling the brand new stuff, but in any other industry, the lawn and garden we do, the trailers we do, none of these extra fees apply. Why in power sports is it so normalized? And the actual out the door price is 20,079 in this case, when the list price was 17,499. 
sorry for the rant on there but to me i i don't quite understand it otherwise um anyway let's, let's carry on with the video now i asked for an alpha door number on this exact unit and i was told i can't give you that number i don't have it here on the lot how could i possibly give you that number which i thought was kind of head scratching to me why couldn't you give a quote if it's not on the lot now i i'll say you know, because we're selling the brand new Toros on the lawn and garden side, and I can give people a quote. I got no problem giving them a quote. Just with, with the, the day and age of trying to get product, it's who knows when it's coming. I don't guarantee anything on a timeline of when it's coming, but I don't get why I couldn't get a number on that specifically. So then I asked, well, what about the 1000 XP with doors on it, like the one that we showed you in this video, and I was trying to get a number on that. Well, they didn't have any 1000 XPs in stock. They had the North Star. That kind of, when you're asking for a package like this, and you want the doors on it, what they're carrying is typically the North Star. So if you go with this package and you want it on the lot right now, you're pretty much gonna buy a North Star. It's gonna take you some time if you wanna go through this process and get doors and only have the heat in there. So I got a quote on a North Star because that's all that they had on the lot. He didn't run the numbers and he said, roughly speaking, you're gonna be $35,000, dollars $36,000 out the door on a North Star. Now, like I said, the difference from what I'm looking at on this unit is this is not a North Star, it's pretty darn close. This one has the roll up windows and it does not have the AC. And that's really your big difference when you're looking at a North Star. But what this one has, this one has a really nice Polaris plow on it. And I think, again, you guys tell me down in the comments how much this costs to upgrade this piece right here, but I know it's between a thousand and $2,000 to add this piece in here. I would imagine that the North Stars are coming standard with a winch, which is what this one already has. So if you were to get a North Star and then add the plow, I can only imagine that you're getting close to $37,000 to $40,000. And we're talking about a three seater. Again, this is just one dealer, the first round of quotes that I got. So that led to quote number two. We called another dealership, kind of went through the same spiel. Of course, they did not have a non-power steering on the lot and I was able to get a better quote this time around. I got a quote of out the door at $18,312. I was very open about the fact that I was shopping around and that led to my sales guy being quite flexible on the pricing. He even told me after saying that number of, of cutting down freight and other things that he was even flexible upon that price upon asking his boss. So where could you actually get a unit with power steering, single cam, Maybe you could uh, work the magic and get closer to the 17, something along that, uh, that case. It just depends on who you're dealing with. This is just, you know, with some, some place here in Michigan that gave me these numbers, okay? Um, I also asked the guy, 1,000 XP, how much is that going to run me? He said 1,000 XP premium out the door. He said without any bells and whistles, just the baseline 1,000 XP premium. 23,183, again, I was able to get that price down just a little bit after talking about the nature of shopping around to $22,344. Again, I was given that this number could be flexible, so you could even get that a little bit lower. And that's just baseline out the door without any of this extra stuff. Same, same thing this guy said, you, you're going up to the North Star, and he talked about how a North Star MSRP is really in the high 20s, almost $30,000. So, but of course, once you add tax, once you add, uh, once you add freight and all these other things, I'm, I'm imagining because he was ahead on this quote as well, he's gonna be in the mid 30,000s, probably close to 35,000 for that package. And again, it's not gonna have the plow and all this other stuff. I sure hope I'm providing the value that I've promised you guys. And I want you guys down in the comments, if you have bought a Polaris Ranger, Tell us in the comments what that Ranger was, what the specs were, and how much did you pay out the door? And not to beat a dead horse here, but just a couple more numbers from a couple other dealerships. A 1000 Sport we were quoted um, from another dealership. And I think the Sport is the same as just saying a 1000 EPS. So that would be just under that premium level. And I got $18,007 out the door. They also gave me a quote on a 1000 premium. 
in camo, so a non-XP version, and they gave me a price of $19,809 out the door. And lastly, we called one more place, and we got a quote on a 1000 EPS, and I got $19,000 right on the button out the door. And again, I would expect on a model like this without the EPS, I would imagine it's gonna be exactly at 18,000, that same dealer. So, and then lastly, we got a, a quote on a 1000 XP in camo, and I got $23,991. So we're looking, you know, roughly a $4,000 price jump there. And the camo hikes the price up just a little bit. I would imagine if you don't go with the camo, you can get that number down again. So you've heard from four different dealers uh, here in our area, just to give you an actual bid on the price. So it makes me feel a heck of a lot better selling this unit right here for $23,000 plus tax. So mind you, I'm gonna be probably closer to 24,000 out the door on this, actually just a hair above that. But if you were to get this exact package, you're gonna be spending probably around $35,000 by the time you add the plow and everything else that comes with it on top of rear rack and what this exact unit's got. So definitely not cheap to get into one of these, but I hope that kind of tells you the difference. Went through the whole gamut on pricing and everything there between, between a 1000 Ranger and the XP models. And of course, we even talked about some of the North Stars. I definitely hope that video was insightful for you guys. If you liked the video and you wanna see more of the behind the scenes, what happens here at Howe Equipment on a flip we did, we actually did a flip on a Polaris Ranger, fits the theme of this video, then click on this video right here and we'll see you on the next one.